everyone, so today I'm going to do a bit of an experiment with green lipstick. You guys all requested this when I posted that picture of my Melt Cosmetics lipsticks. You were like, do the green one. Use the green one in a tutorial, so I am going to. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we will see. My hair, oh, it's so hot. It is so hot. Got this in the mail today from Hikasen Kara NZ that I want to try. It is a CC cream. SPF 34 brightening, high coverage, super moisturizing. Packaging looks like this. Been pumping it, and pumping it, and pumping it. Do you love new products? It's just like, yep. Any time now, I want to be ready. Oh, oh, there it is. So it's one of those color adjusting things. Oh, I'm so hot. Okay. It smells like food. Look, I don't know what kind of. No, it doesn't. Does it? I don't know. I'm gonna need full coverage today if I'm wearing green lipstick. Because uh, that's pretty intense. It's a bit intense. So that's what that looks like on my skin. My freckles are a little bit darker than normal because I've been, well, not laying out in the sun, but I lay out in the sun for about half an hour yesterday and my freckles just go nuts. I don't really mind though. I really want to do a tutorial like drawing freckles on my face just to see what I'd look like with freckles, like hard out freckles. I'm gonna use a bit of my Hello Flawless by Benefit on top of that other stuff. This is just my flat top foundation brush by Exo Beauty. And I'm just gonna buff this all over my face. I think this foundation brush is a bit dirty. You know when you use your foundation brush and it's just like applying really funny and you're like, yeah, time to clean. That's better. I'm just gonna use a little bit of lip balm because it is a matte lipstick, so it can go on a bit dry. So I'm just preparing myself. Ugh, got a hair on me. And then a little bit of my Prolong Wear Concealer just underneath my eyes. And then for my powder, because I am quite fake tan and my foundation's a little bit too light, I'm gonna use my darkest powder I have, which is my NARS one. This is in the shade Barcelona. I'm just going to spray a little bit of my all nighter makeup setting spray because I am so sweaty that my makeup's going to come off before the end of this tutorial if I don't. It's so hot in here. I know I've said that about 50 times already, but whatever. And then of course, under my eyes. I'm going to use some hula because I want to be dark bronze today. And I'm just using my big EXO Beauty bronzer brush. I'm just going to pop it on and then blend it out now. <laughs> oh, I'm so weird. So the lipstick is called Blow. And it's green. Dark green. So I'm going to put this on. I'm kind of scared, but let's go. <laughs> this is intense. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's crazy, but I like it. All right, now I'm gonna do my brows, and I'm using the Dip Brow in a Blonde. I'm just gonna do the ends, and then I'm gonna fill in the inside with my brow pencil, and see how that looks. And then I'm going to do some brow, brow, what are they called? Brow mascara. I'm using my Ico brow gel. I'm going to take the Smoked Cocoa Rihanna palette. You don't have to use this. I don't know if you can even get it anymore. I'm going to use this color here though, just because it looks like a really cool color. So I just want to try this. And I'm just going to put that on my lid with my finger. You can use any silverish color I'd say just anything it doesn't have to be this because I don't know what this actual color is called because it doesn't give you like the names and then I'll just take that color next to it as well and put that in my crease really lightly
Now I'm just taking a little bit of MAC Vanilla Pigment. I'm going to put that on my inner corner. I'm also going to just pop a little bit in the center of my eyelid. I'm using some Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I'm going to do some mascara and false eyelashes. So today I'm using L'Oreal False Lash Wings. I'm going to reuse my Gold Digger lashes. So they're looking pretty scungy at the moment. But they will work again. I've used these ones a few times. <laughs> Know what else to do with this look so I don't want to go like way overboard or anything. I'm gonna do a little bit of my blush that I like to wear with random makeup looks. This is called Peach by Makeup Store and it just seems to go with everything so it's just a good one. And then I'm gonna use my Mary Lou Minizer with my Exo Beauty fan brush. I think I'm just going to leave this look like this. Really light eyes with just like emphasis on the lashes and the eyeliner and then green lips. <laughs> that is the look. I don't know if you guys like it or not, but it was a bit of, bit of fun, bit of something different. My foundation, like my face makeup is just not cooperating because I am just so hot. And then for those of you who really do not like the green at all, because I can totally understand if you don't, I will just show you with a normal lip colour. I'm going to go with Pinkabelle by Wet n Wild. And now this look is just so normal. How would you style a green lip? Like what would you do? I was going to do a smoky eye, but then I didn't really feel like it. I just thought I'd do kind of like a pin up inspired look, but more modern and obviously with green lipstick instead of red. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video fun to watch or something. Let me know what kind of look you want to see next. And I will talk to you soon. Bye! At the moment, just because it makes my eyelashes really, really, really long and black. I'll show you, like, one eye done and the other eye not done. So that is one coat. I don't know if you can see the difference. If I look down. But yeah, makes my eyelashes.